the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That should. Have you ever wondered how much we really do know about the universe's beginnings? Michio Kaku, a renowned scientist, has made a surprising announcement. The James Webb Telescope may have disproved the Big Bang Theory. The telescope has recently uncovered extremely enormous galaxies, the finding of which begs the question, how did they grow so rapidly? Join us as we dive deeper into this remarkable discovery and the consequences it could have for our knowledge of the cosmos. So get ready to have your mind blown. NASA's new Super Space Telescope was designed to look back in time and provide clues about how the universe came into existence. In less than a year, James Webb has already shown us some extraordinary images, but now it is making us question what we thought we knew about how galaxies formed. On its first look at the faraway universe, the $10 billion telescope saw something that wasn't meant to be there. So what is the discovery that has scientists baffled? Even Michio Kaku has talked about this new finding. First, let's look at what was found and then hear what Michio Kaku has to say about it. A new study released in February said that the James Webb Space Telescope found six huge galaxies that formed soon after the Big Bang. These galaxies surprised scientists because they formed much faster than we thought they would. Since it started working last July, the Webb Telescope has been able to look farther than ever before into the far reaches of the universe, which also means it is looking back in time. For its latest find, the telescope looked at galaxies from 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, which happened 13.8 billion years ago. At that time, the universe was only 5% as old as it is now. A study in the journal Nature said that Webb's near-cam instrument, which works in the near-infrared wavelength that can't be seen with the human eye, looked at six galaxies in a little-known part of the sky. Two of the galaxies had been seen by the Hubble Space Telescope before, but they were so faint that no one noticed them. Scientists didn't expect these six new candidate galaxies to have so many stars. This is because their find still needs to be confirmed by other measurements. Some people think that one galaxy has as many as 100 billion stars. That would make it about as big as the Milky Way, which is crazy, according to Evo Lab, the first author of the study. It took the whole history of the universe for all the stars in our galaxy to come together. Lab, a researcher at Australia's Swinburne University of Technology, said that this young galaxy would have had to grow about 20 times faster than the Milky Way to reach the same size in 700 million years. If there were such big galaxies so soon after the Big Bang, it would go against the current cosmology model, which is the best way for scientists to explain how the universe works. According to the theory, galaxies grow slowly from very small beginnings at early times, Lab said, adding that such galaxies were predicted to be between 10 and 100 times smaller. The James Webb Telescope looks deep into space and time, getting closer to the Big Bang. But the sizes of these galaxies really go off a cliff, he said. What might be happening? Dark matter, which makes up a big part of the universe and is still a mystery, is one possible cause. Even though scientists still don't know a lot about dark matter, they think it is a key part of how galaxies form. Lab said that when dark matter clumps into a halo, it pulls in gas from the rest of the universe, which then makes a galaxy and its stars. But this process is thought to take a long time, and there just aren't that many clumps of dark matter in the early universe, he said. What is more surprising is that the model is cracking. The newly discovered galaxies could indicate that things moved far faster in the early cosmos than previously thought allowing stars to form much more efficiently, according to David Elbaz, an astronomer at the French Atomic Energy Commission who was not involved in the research. He also said that this could be linked to new signs that the world is expanding faster than we thought. Elbaz said, this topic is hotly debated among cosmologists, making this latest discovery all the more exciting because it is one more indication that the model is cracking. Scientists like Elbaz are working on the European Space Agency's Euclid Space Telescope, which will join Webb in space when it launches in July. Elbaz said that Euclid's job is to find out what dark matter and dark energy are and how they work. It could also help solve this new puzzle. Lab talked about the black swan theory, which says that one unexpected event, like when Europeans first saw black swans in Australia, 
can change everything we thought we knew. He called the galaxies six black swans, because if even one of them turns out to be true, we'll have to change our ideas. Later in April, the James Webb Space Telescope uncovered the four most distant galaxies ever spotted, one of which originated just 320 million years after the Big Bang, when the cosmos was still in its infancy. Since it became operational last year, the Webb Telescope has released a torrent of scientific discoveries, peaking further than ever before into the universe's furthest reaches, which also means it is looking back in time. By the time it reaches Earth, light from the most distant galaxies has been stretched by the expansion of the universe and moved to the infrared section of the light spectrum. The NIRCAM sensor that is housed in the Webb Telescope possesses an incredible ability to detect this infrared light. As a result, it is able to rapidly find a number of previously undetected galaxies, some of which could potentially alter how astronomers understand the early universe. In two publications that were just published in the journal Nature Astronomy, astronomers made the announcement that they had unambiguously detected the four most distant galaxies that have ever been observed. The formation of galaxies occurred between 300 and 500 million years after the Big Bang, which occurred more than 13 billion years ago when the age of the universe was only 2% of what it is now. That means the galaxies are from the epoch of reionization, when the first stars are thought to have formed. Immediately after the cosmic dark ages that were generated by the Big Bang, the period in question began. According to Stéphane Charlot, a researcher at the Astrophysics Institute of Paris, who is also a co-author of the two new studies, the Jade's GSZ-130 galaxy was created 320 million years after the Big Bang. According to him, this is the farthest distance that astronomers have ever measured. In addition, the Webb Telescope was able to verify the existence of that galaxy, which was originally identified as existing by the Hubble Space Telescope 450 million years after the Big Bang. According to Charlot, each of the four galaxies weighs approximately 100 million times the mass of the Sun, making them very low in mass. The weight of the Milky Way is estimated to be 1.5 trillion solar masses, according to some sources. According to Charlot, on the other hand, galaxies are very active in star formation in proportion to their mass. He said those stars were forming about as fast as the Milky Way, which was surprising so early in the universe. He added that the galaxies were extremely metal poor. This is consistent with the standard model of cosmology, which predicts that the closer one is to the moment of the Big Bang, the less time there is for certain metals to originate in the universe. Some scientists have begun to challenge the validity of the traditional model of the universe after the discovery in February of six enormous galaxies that existed between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang. An astronomer from Yale University named Peter Van Dokum, who was not involved in the new study, referred to the confirmation of the four newly discovered distant galaxies as a technical tour de force. Van Dokum stated in Nature that the frontier is shifting almost every month, adding that there were now only 300 million years of unexplored universe history between these galaxies and the Big Bang. According to him, the Webb Telescope has found what are thought to be galaxies that are significantly closer to the time of the Big Bang. However, these findings have not yet been verified. While if we look at what Michio Kaku says, things are a bit different. If the universe is only 500 million years old, as Michio Kaku claims, there shouldn't be any primordial galaxies bigger than the Milky Way. Something isn't right. We may need to alter our idea of the universe's creation, and so we may be gazing at a cosmos that is much older than we believe or we may be looking at an optical illusion. Are those the only two options? Yes, some individuals believe it is an optical illusion. According to Einstein, gravity can behave like glass. Of course, gravity may be used to create a magnifying glass, as well as to bend space and time to create a gravity microwave. You might think these galaxies are big, because Kaku means magnifying lenses, but they're actually newborn galaxies. The conclusion, according to Kaku, is that these are not infant galaxies at all, but rather giant black holes that emerge after the instance of creation, which has scientists confused because they do not fit into the typical process of a galaxy's development. He believes we are staring at massive black holes where new rules of physics may be emerging, and that if you can figure out how to solve all of this, you may be eligible for a Nobel Prize. According to one theory, 
these galaxies that appear to be galaxies are actually black holes, because we believe that at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy is a raging black hole that is two to three million times more massive than our sun, and we now believe that at the center of almost every galaxy in the universe is a monstrous black hole that could be millions to billions of times more massive than our own sun. But what's under our feet? How come we don't know what's in the center of the Earth after visiting the Moon, Mars, and Jupiter? Here's an idea. Consider a sonogram. An ultrasound transmits vibrations into a pregnant woman's womb, resulting in echoes that may be processed to form a picture of the unborn child. We can now consider sonogramming the Earth because an earthquake generates all kinds of vibrations that echo ricochet inside the Earth. Allowing us to recreate an image of the center of the Earth and discover some enormously interesting things, such as the fact that the core of the Earth spins, but the Earth's crust can spin in the opposite direction. So these layers beneath our feet can actually rotate in opposite directions, and we used to think there were four layers inside the Earth like the crust and the mantle, four layers inside the Earth. Recently we picked up evidence of a fifth layer at the very center of the Earth, so we're now basically sonogramming the Earth and maybe one day we'll be able to use artificial intelligence and supercomputers to tease apart these echoes so that we can get a better understanding of the Earth. We're not there yet, but consider this. If we could somehow take these echoes, run them through a computer, make a map of the inside of the Earth and anticipate when the next earthquake will occur, we could tell the falsehoods of thousands of people. He believed that the people of California would welcome the day when we would forecast earthquakes. Earthquakes are nearly like ultrasounds right now, and all we need is the technology to capture the image from that ultrasound to truly understand what's in the ground and how to predict earthquakes in the future. Is that correct? That's correct, and we used to dismiss seismic shaking as nonsense. They're extremely complicated, yet they can handle anything thanks to supercomputers and artificial intelligence. He believes that supercomputers and AI will allow us to understand all of these echoes and calculate the tension on the San Andreas Fault and many other fault lines, allowing us to anticipate earthquakes. This is not ruled out, but he believes that with supercomputers and AI, we will be able to understand the echoes inside the Earth, giving us a snapshot or sonogram of the Earth itself. As we come to the end of this great revelation, we encourage you to stay tuned for more news on the James Webb Space Telescope and its incredible discoveries. Don't forget to subscribe and switch on notifications to stay up to date on all of the latest scientific advancements. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.